fate of 12,000 children who have been studying in Bridge International Academy in 63 branches across the country lies in balance. My favorite subject is English and math. This follows a court ruling ordering the proprietors of the schools to close them with immediate effect. What is this word? No. Lady Justice Patricia Basazawaswa delivered the ruling today. How disappointed we are with the ruling today. We hope that the judge and the ministry consider the 12,000 pupils we educate across Uganda. The ruling came after an appeal had been filed by Bridge International Academy Management following a directive by the Education Ministry to have the schools closed because of poor educational standards. Lack of the curriculum, lack of sanitation facilities that are acceptable and that meet the standards of education in Uganda for children are met uh, things to do with the, the, the content of what is actually being taught, then whether or not the teachers are being tra uh, whether or not the teachers are trained. We we found that all of these are loopholes. Yeah, I'm qualified teacher from Namsa Primary Teachers College. Now the Minister of Education has issued a directive that the 12,000 pupils should not report at school on Monday, but instead join the neighboring UPE schools before this term ends. Therefore, all schools as of now that belong to Bridge International Academy have been closed. And the ministry is making it clear to all parents that they should not take their children to school with effects from Monday. That these children shall be absorbed very systematically and carefully with a lot of thought into these schools and shall be okay and shall carry on with the normal teaching that they have been going through, even if there are few days remaining at the end of the term. Still, even today, we are committed to continuing to provide high quality, affordable education. Remember, our termly fees are on average only 80,000 Uganda shillings for a term. That's the fee. The proprietors of bridge schools who claim they are offering affordable education to poor parents say they are going to appeal the ruling. Strongly believes that the ruling was unjust and say so we will be appealing the ruling. And we will also at the same time be working with the ministry to find a way forward to ensure that the licensing process that has started, that is a process that has started, can be complete. The minister alleges that the bridge schools have an agenda to fail UPE schools. What happened is that uh, Bridge International was careful to build their schools in areas of very high density of schools in the neighborhood. So wherever there is a school, Bridge Inter International Academy located in a particular place, you will find that there are very many UPE schools there. Currently, universal primary education educates about 80 million pupils. However, for instance, in 2006, over 70% who joined the UPE dropped out before sitting primary leaving examinations. A staggering figure which portrays a grim picture about the quality of education. Education system in Uganda. One, teacher absenteeism. From a recent report, 53% of teachers were not in class teaching. Bridge uses technology, IT technology, to solve these challenges. Our teachers are given a teacher computer, like a tablet, and every morning they have to log in, every evening they log out. If a teacher is not present, we know. The management of Bridge says they want to improve the quality of education. Bridge has an innovative solution to solve these problems at a very affordable price. That is why we are here today. That is why we will continue to operate. On Monday, there will be enforcement, there will be law enforcement put in place. Police will be there, the director will be... Jingo Francis, NTV.